A breakout hit at the Sundance Film Festival, Gimme the Loot roams the streets of Manhattan in the company of Malcolm, a graffiti artist and small-time dope dealer who's looking for love or money, whatever comes first. It's vibrant, likeable and gangly, a rites of passage outing that relishes the journey and leaves the final destination to take care of itself. That's what I'm saying, man. Yo, I gotta get me one of those Queens boys, man. You gonna get you one of them Queens toys and do what? Yeah, I'm a fuck, yo. I take care of my shit, you don't know. Gus, let me get two slices. Yeah, nah, I don't know. What, you a gangster? What, you a thug now? When I need to be, yo, don't let me catch one of these motherfuckers buffing out pieces. I'm gonna come up behind them, some good fella shit. They not gonna see it coming. Put like two in the back of the head. Easy, just. First of all, nobody in their right mind is gonna give you a gun. It's not funny. And Whatever. second of all, if you're gonna shoot somebody, you shoot them in their eye like a fucking man. Be the last thing they see before they drop. Not like them fucking Godfellas pussies. Yo, whatever. As long as they get got, yo. I'm fucking stupid ass mess fans, yo. Peter, this felt like very kind of familiar scenery, and yet it was done with a kind of freshness and vitality it that was. I really liked. Yeah, I liked it as well. Uh, I thought it was interesting. He used to work for Woody Allen. He was a production assistant, a PA to Woody Allen. And interestingly, this is the kind of New York that Woody Allen does not show. Uh, it's, I guess, more like early Spike Lee in some ways, but with a kind of new wavy, kind of rangy, freewheeling kind of feel, which I really like. I really love the kind of guerrilla filming style in, in New York. Some of it was, was really nice and very exciting, actually, mm. some of it. And it had a kind of lazy, no particular place to go mm. feel, which I, I really I liked. I mean, I think that it's not perfect. There are some bits in it, the, the kind of pure plot sometimes really doesn't make sense, and I don't think it's entirely plausible. There's a lot of distractions in there. You think it's about one thing, and then it becomes about yeah, something else, and it kind I, of meanders. Yes, I like the meandering mm. thing. I mean, it's got one of the, it's got uh, that, it's, again, it's difficult to do. It's difficult to create that new wavy just on the street, up in somebody's apartment. Long, long scenes in, in white, rich white people's apartments. Is he going to get off with this rich white girl? Is he not? This is interesting. Is it going to happen? No, his beep has gone off, so he's got to attend to some other or business there's, elsewhere. there's a great bit where he goes back and yeah. he realises that Suddenly, to them he's a joke. That he's like a big joke. They're yeah. patronising him and, and it's and that, that interface a, between those two cultures. And that was a fantastic scene, a really kind of nasty scene, but managed so coolly. Uh, again, some of it is, is strange when you realise that they've got nothing else to do except this plan where they're going to break into the Mets baseball stadium and tag the apple that comes up on a home run. You just think, is this your life? Is it, am I watching a tragedy, in fact, with people who have <laughs> nothing in their lives, except it persuades you at the time that it's not a tragedy and this is actually quite important. Uh, it's, it's, it's a nice film. It's very cool. I really enjoyed it, Catherine. I mean, I, what Peter was saying is, is a bit crude and unschooled, but it, it felt like... It was just a great counterpoint to so many films that are the sort of test-marketed, machine-tooled Hollywood comedies, that this felt kind of loose-limbed and warm and gangly and, and, and nicely acted. Yeah, I can't, I can't disagree with anything that's been said, really. And I mean, you know, it reminds you of lots of great things. It reminds you of Manhattan. It reminds you of a bit of Six Degrees of Separation. Uh, it reminded me a bit of Francis Ha. Is that film Raising Victor Vargas? Is that? Yeah, yeah it's, it it's very, very like kind that, of that. Ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. It's really likable. It's not kind of astonishing. It's not sort of classic, but it's it's a it's a lovely lazy film, isn't it? It's mm. great. Hello? Take off your shoes. I'm in the bathroom. Hey. You're not Donnie. Who are you? <laughs> 